So, um, as yesterday agreed, uh, some students still struggle um, with the grasshopper definition uh, for the interlocking mesh. Um, so this is what we have at the moment. Uh, not 100% perfect, but it gives you 95% of what you need. So it really depends a little bit on the mesh you stick in. So we uh, have the mesh, uh, we clean it, and we do the uh, horizontal and vertical slices, right? So you have all this definition already. What I did, um, I widened the horizontal cuts a little, made them a bit thicker. And you probably could do this uh, in the vertical slices as well. Uh, so we have the offset here, 20. I think we should also do 25. 28, no, 25 is good. Um, and that changes this a little bit. Uh, hold on, if we do 24. So this is the stuff, you know, you need to try out. Some, sometimes it's small, here we go, 23. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Be nice to get a line here. How about 22? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I wanted because that's something you can edit later on uh, in the Rhino surface, but this is pretty good. Okay, uh, and how many um, vertical slices you have, uh, you know, that's up to you. You set this here on the uh, offset here. So the slicing, uh, slicing vertical, yeah. At the moment I have, oh, this is quite a big thing, 140 millimeters apart. Okay, but the main question is, how do we finish this now? So again, um, we use um, um, a battery called solid, solid differ difference. We have used this in the, um, in the interlocking box and I actually it's I think it is preferable to have the cuts in your vertical slices because then you can just slot them in so this is my so this so your uh, vertical slice is going to a and your horizontal slice is going to B. so what do we get out so let's hide this one and you get these vertical slices, right? This is pretty good. And from this stage onwards, I would actually uh, start baking. And you bake things, um, you can do, I actually would probably go uh, bake two. So put your bakes into, uh, Two different, two different layers. Um, so we've got. Let's do sea green. Okay, so I put the 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 horizontal slices into let's say big one. So again, you know how you know this routine by now. We bake this into this layer. So we have it there and my horizontal slices, which are these ones, let's make them visible. I bake them into layer two. Okay. Now you can go back to your grasshopper definition and just make this not visible. You can even just switch it off. You can switch it off for now. And this is where we go. OK. 
Okay, um, let's do this. Okay, so. Right, and now from now on, it's editing on uh, the Rhino platform. Okay, so um, let's do this first. Um, don't want to see this. Okay, so you want to make this 2D on the plane and um, just make sure that you sometimes it's quite good to mark them or so. Um, but you have to do a bit of editing here. Uh, if you have things like this, you might have to close it and cut it out on your horizontal slice or just kind of glue them on top. Uh, what is also helpful, so this is not the problem, this might be the problem, this is probably good to slice in half, because if you have rings, you can't get them into into these slots, right? So this long, this big central piece, I would probably just slice in half. Okay, um, so what I would do is, Um, I take this and I want them. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, yeah, ninety. want them lined up like this okay okay so these are still uh, slices in space as you can see um, but what we can do we go to our top view and we make 2d and I hope this computer does it now we select our objects I do not want to export the hidden lines we can do group output uh, on the C plane so uh, projection onto the C plane. The view is from the top, okay. Okay, that's pretty good. There's very little to edit here. So this is obviously quite a demanding, uh, but you know, this is all pretty good. What you need to do is here, you might have to just open this up to the side. Um, what you need to edit out is stuff like this. As I said, again, if you wanna trim, I would do it. Hold on, cancel. So uh, for trim, oh, I'm trim. I select the objects, press enter, and then things like this. Um, yeah, you just delete these ones. You could even just select stuff like this. Yeah, so this goes really quickly. Um, I would actually do it like this. You can so select entire sections. So this is where that ground, I think this you could probably then also cut off. So there's a bit of hand handwork after the laser cutting as well. Yeah, I think this can go as well. And so on and so on, yeah. And then you can send this to the laser cutter. Okay, so um, there's really not much to it. Uh, so yeah, please make sure so, um, if they're not grouped, just group them, right? And if you have something, a central piece without outline, you could either draw the outline with a polygon, you know, I want to cut through that anyhow. So yeah, and then you group that. 
And uh, what I would do on the central piece, actually, I would, yeah, you can just do a line like this. And then you could do trim, you select everything. And then uh, this, and then you just delete these things. Hold on, not this one, I wanna, I wanna delete these ones. All oh, these are tiny little. Tiny little sections, uh, but yeah, so you can, uh, can you do it like this? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so the laser cutter would cut through this and then you have two halves and then you can put your rings in. So you need to kind of feed this into the ring um in order to make it work right so there you know um yeah as i said you have to kind of use your imagination a little bit and uh, there will be a bit of hand building as well which is not a bad thing um if i would spend an awful lot of time i could probably do this entire thing in grasshopper including uh, exporting but also, I kind of think it loses the charm when it's completely automated, but I think you get the drift, right? So if you have your rings, um, so if you go back to our grasshopper definition, and we switch this off, again, you can still, at the moment, this is not computing, I switch it off. If you put your mouse wheel, so this is switching on, uh, off, and this is switching on again. So that's when you, you know, uh, struggle with your CPU and um, because these are quite complex grasshopper definitions. Right. And um, so you do the same with your horizontal slices then. You spread them out, project them onto the ground plane. If your CPU is struggling, just select um, two or three rings uh, for making 2D. This is, seems to be a, quite a stressful thing for the CPU. Don't, for, don't forget to project them onto the C plane. Okay, that's really all there is to say about this. Um, it should be it should be pretty straightforward okay right um so good luck with it if there are any questions we can discuss it later on in next week's class